And the first question is by Aniket Divadkar. He says, Hi Guruji, in recent days I came across several contents about Illuminati, secret society, who are ruling our whole world using media, finance network and pharma politics. Even many leaders, Gurujis and priests are under their control. Your no, answer on this. <laughs> not me, not me. <laughs> But you have to still answer the question. Yeah, I will, I will, but I'm saying I'm not under that control. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Say, uh, I think you're reading Dan Brown. <laughs> you mean Aniket? Yes, <laughs> Aniket, wherever you are. See, uh, it is part of European culture to always… Well, we are also imbibing it these days quite a bit. But uh, in Europe, secret schools were romantic stuff. Even people who are now famous like… Uh, like a Socrates or a Aristotle and these people, they were also part of the secret schools. Why would I make my school secret? Because society is in a mode of persecution of anything that doesn't… it does not agree with. Persecution. Only if there is persecution, a school becomes a secret school, isn't it so? So, secret school traditions are so much in Europe because the dogmatic religious beliefs were really suppressing anything. Anything that they think is gathering ten people, they want to demolish it, they will kill them. So, they ran secret schools. In this, whatever you are re uh, referring to as Illuminati and later on it transformed itself into Freemasons, some history, I cannot confirm this, some books have been written as to how Freemasonry was started by the Indian Masons who went to Egypt. Because they had to survive in a strange land, they came up with all kinds of tricks how to survive. Among themselves, they developed code and contacted… I mean, no, communicated with each other in code language so that they survive in that hostile culture and from there it spread, that's what some books say, but I'm… there is no historical certainty about that. But it's possible, we know that masons went, stone masons from India went for building the pyramids and the Baalbek temple, they're clear, clear records about the Baalbek temple in Lebanon, which is about four thousand two hundred or three hundred years old, where they built a sun… Uh, a Phoenician temple which was built, where Indian masons and Indian elephants worked. Every Lebanese child knows about it in their school, but none of the Indians ever study this or anything like this is mentioned anywhere in any of the Indian history books, unfortunately. Anyway. So, later on it became fear Freemasonry and Freemasonry took on a powerful form, when uh, it went to United States, it took on a very powerful form because uh, the Christian dogmatic thing was so suppressive. Free-thinking people called themselves Freemasons, though they were not doing any masonry anymore. But you will see one thing, wherever Freemasons are there, the building designs are fantastic. This… I've gone to a whole lot of Freemason temples simply because I love the design part of what they have done, fantastic designs. Because geometry is very much a part of their culture. It is because of this probably somebody is writing books saying that they came from India. Because in India the yogic culture invested itself absolutely in the geometric aspect of life. Yoga means in one way aligning your geometry so that you become aligned with the cosmic geometry so that your experience of life is enhanced in such a way that what is you and what is cosmos in some way becomes a reflection of yourself or you become a reflection of the cosmos, whichever way you want to see it. So because wherever we see an extreme sense of geometry, 
then we think yogis must have been here because this level of geometry doesn't come unless you are into an internal process in ancient times. Now, of course, people are studying geometry at a different level outside. But otherwise, at that time, the only way you could understand geometry so complex was studying your own structure, how this body is made and observing the planets and astronomical phenomena. So, at one time, yes, they controlled a few things, but I think all secret schools are overly exaggerated. And don't worry, uh, Aniket, huh? What's his name? Aniket, don't worry, they're not controlling anything much these days. Donald Trump is controlling a lot of things. Jatajutam Hasma Angam Adi Yoginam Pranamam Yaham